It's Danny Roth here. I'm still at Star Trek Las Vegas. And look who I found, Trace Coco, who played Lieutenant Jay amongst a host of other characters, a big stunt work person on Star Trek. Um, so just to start, can you tell me the truth about Jay and Picard? Just, just to settle it, because I have long believed that there was something going on. Can we just confirm that they definitely was something? I think there was. I think there was, but it wasn't like confirmed, but... Well, as long as we both know. Yeah. As long as we're both, now it's canon that yes. we both said it. Yes. All right. Yes. So of the characters that you played, do you, mm -hmm. is Jay the favorite? Well, of course, Jay's the favorite, but I love doing all the aliens. I did like 15 of them, so I kind of like doing the aliens, too. Yeah. I don't, I don't, how, like, how long was the longest time you had to sit in a chair? This one? Six hours. Six hours. What was that? Wait, what was, which is this I one from? I do not know. <laughs> what the name we're, of it is. We're really bad. We're both really bad fans in this moment. I don't know what the name moment. of it is, but I think it was on Voyager, but I I could be wrong. But All right. Um, Let's just say, yes, it was Voyager. <laughs> it was yes, definitely Voyager. It was on Voyager. And you played a Ferengi, and we talked about this before, this that, I am, that I am a big Ferengi fan. Yes. It and is you got to play your, yes. a Ferengi a boy, lady, lady boy, yes. who like, was pretending to be, be a boy. boy and when was and really a girl. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. It's a great story. It's, it's a, a great, great story. story. Um, tell me what it was like oh, to do. Good. I, I could tell you this one, the Antican. Oh my gosh, an Antican! I forgot all okay. about the Antican. Uh, that was my very first alien that Michael um, gave me to do. They smell bad. Michael Westmore. Is I it did, them that I, smell I, bad, I or is smell. it the reptiles that no, smell bad? No, the reptiles do. Oh, okay. All quick, right, you schooled me. I got a quick me. little tidbit. Please. About this one. This was my first one that Michael Westmore, that god of makeup, gave me to do. Right here. Antican. That one. Yeah. I met Sharon Stone looking just like that. She came right up to me. How did that work out? I was freaking out. Cause was I she freaking it. out? She was like, oh, like, wow, <laughs> that's awesome. Because I had like a prosthetic in my mouth, so when I bit down, the snout would. Oh, see, I always knew that. The, I mean, I had my suspicions about what Sharon Stone was into, but confirmed. <laughs> now we know. Now we know. She's fun. <laughs> and then like this one, I knew it's a Colbarian. This a, Col one, a Stephen Colbarian. Colbarian. <laughs> And that one I knew if I got called, the nose didn't work, so I'd have to breathe through my mouth so I'd get oh, a sore throat. Oh, good grief. So you learn, like, when you do these, what works, you know, and, like, the Borg. I was the regular Borg and the drone Borg. But you have to kind of have wardrobe and makeup follow you everywhere because, you know, especially if you got to, you know. Yeah, of course, of course. Go to the, you know. All right, so here's, to me, is the big question. There's a new Star Trek show. Mm hmm You've done all of this already. Yeah. Um... What have you not done, other than being on it, which I think we both agree that you should make an appearance in some fashion. Yeah. What would you like to do on a new Star Trek show? Oh, be like number one. Let's be the first officer or the captain? Uh, not the captain. Are you wanna, all right, so you want to be like, like Riker. Yes. So we'll put a beard on you. Well, that could work, I think. And then you did it. And then we'll bring Patrick Stewart back, and then we can reaffirm. Yes. Like you'll have the beard yes. on. I'd like and to, and then it'll just be like well, a big makeout sesh because, like, then it's the perfect thing. He's got the Riker beard plus Lieutenant J. It's everything it's he awesome. wants. I know. And then he could chase me. Did you see that video? <laughs> he chases me down the hall, the blooper. No, I didn't see that. Yes, it's on you. Cut it's to like, that clip. It's on you. Crazy. <laughs> Star Trek. It's just one love story yeah, after these another. Guys, these guys were the awesome. I mean, come on, they were like family to me. So I was on the show for seven years. Um, and on the other two shows, Deep Space Nine and Voyager, it was 15 different aliens, and I was in all the movies we did. Um, and how I got on it, if you want to know. Yeah, I do want to know. Um, I was on the Paramount lot, and I was doing another 48 hours with Eddie Murphy. And I had to do a little stunt in a bar scene to where I, I was wearing a pumps and miniskirt. And I had to run and jump over a table in a bar, bar fight scene. Yeah. Somebody from Star Trek. You know, the Paramount bigwig came down and said, I think you need to go talk to Mary Howard. They, I think they'd like your look. Did that, went to the audition, and boom. And then one thing led to it, another. All right. Yeah. So then we just need to make lightning strike twice. Yes. So that you can be on Star Trek Discovery. That would be awesome. That's right. So it's me and Tracy, and it, I'm Danny Roth even, at Sci-Fi. So make sure Sci-Fi Wire. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Even Star Trek Discovery producers, if you're watching. Yes. Please, I've, I've done please, please. Aliens. Give me a chance. Come That's on. That's it. Get her up to 16. Yes. That's it. Thank yes. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye.